Yes, Dr. Agarwal, you want you raised I your want, hand there. Uh, yeah. I want, yes, I want number one is that what is the duty of a doctor and what is the duty of a hospital? Number one, when the patient comes, you attend the patient immediately without delay. Do the triage whether this is a simple dengue or whether it is a severe dengue. If it is a simple dengue, you can discharge the patient with a close follow-up that you show us in morning and evening. And if it is a severe dengue, that means patient's platelets are falling very rapidly. If there is SGOT and SGPT which are very high, if the patient has persistent vomiting, extreme degree of exhaustion, he has nausea, or if he has a continuous bleeding, then only he needs admission. Otherwise, admission is not required. Such patients, remember, low platelet count is not an indication for admission, is not an indication for transfusion unless there is a continuous bleeding. So therefore, once you have done a triage, then give them a first aid. First aid is 20 ml of fluid so per kg body weight. Uh, doctor, doctor, Ag doctor Agarwal, doctor Agarwal let us cut the chase and ask a basic yes, question. Listen. You know, no, Dr. Agarwal, this child I, was I in a critical condition. I, I, let's, I not, let's not go around I trying know, to reinvent the wheel. We all know. Child, this child was in a critical condition and the child was sent off by four hospitals. Samir, call, please. Samir, call on the screen, please, if you can, please. Samir, call. Yes, please. Samir, call. Samir, call is countering. I have a problem with that. I have a problem with that because... Are you the, the, the basic fundamental question that needs to be asked is can any hospital, government or private, whether they have the bed or not, turn away a patient who could lose his life in transportation? So people with capillary leaks, with fluid deficiency in their vascular system, can they be sent transporting from one place to the other? And rather than one one crosses the lines of the bed availability and tries to do a little bit more than what routinely does to help them. Now that is a question that needs to be answered truthfully. So let's not, I mean, Dr. Agarwal, let's not even get into whether the child was serious or not.